Ooh, here we go. What's up guys, Dusty here with Dusty Fish Co. I am back in Louisiana, back out on Kevin's new boat. I got Kevin from Salty Bottom Hello, Outdoors guys. behind me. Oh my God. <laughs> I got Ed here with us. We're not stealing his boat anymore. Uh, we've had a good morning so far. We're rocking and rolling. We're pushing back into a bayou here. So y'all hang tight, enjoy the video. It's gonna be a good one. Let's get it. That's a big fish. Am I recording? Yes. All right, guys. First hookup of the day. Ooh. First hookup of the day for me. I literally threw it in his mouth. As it hit the water, I was hooked up. That's a nice one. Ed, I'm going to grab the net. You go ahead and keep fishing, Ed. I'll take care of it. Come on, baby. Come on. Dude, that's a freaking monster. That's got to be a red or a gator. <laughs> yeah, right. About to get my thumbnail. He's coming this way. You get out the way. He's coming around this way. Please be a nice red. I want to see what it is before I get him too close. Nice red. Yeah, there nice we go. Red. Oh, yeah. Nice red, buddy. Nice red. Oh, Ain't come on. Yet. Very nice. I might be bringing him to you. Get ready. I got you. I'm ready. Yep. One Ain't more. That is a nice redfish, buddy. That's a good eat size. Oh, I'm yeah. Gonna say, I'm going to say 23. I was going to say 24. Yeah, I think 20, 22 to 24 is pretty accurate. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he turned on me. Uh, here we go. Oh, he might be bigger than that, dude. That might be 26. Excellent. All right, guys. Beautiful redfish right here. Going to get a measure on him real quick. Let's get a measure. What you got? 26, dude. 27. Oh. There we go. Yep. Almost 28. Mmm. Beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna make some good redfish cool beyond. There we go, guys. Gorgeous redfish. Let's get back after them. I'm surprised we haven't run into any bass, dude. I really am. Yeah. That's kind of what I've been expecting to hook. Me too. I figured it was gonna be a bass kind of day. Because that might be a better option. I know but it's, it's just too shallow right now. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Right beside me. <laughs> he was hooked him another red. Cast in his mouth again. There's a little school. I mean, right beside <laughs> me he landed. There's a little school in here, for sure. All That's right. a smaller one, huh? I'm oh, he's running to me. Oh, he's well, running well, to well, me. Another one just ran. He, he just he just spooked two more off yeah, of this point. Yeah, there's a school in here. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't stop him. <laughs> yep, clear your line, clear your line. He he just took everything I got. Wow. There's more with him. Dude, he's monster. I need to come to the front. I need to come to the front. I need to come to the front. Did you just hook up? No, I had a hit, I think. It might have been grass. Yeah. All right. Woo! There's a whole school in here, dude. Oh, yeah. Y'all need to switch to a white. I'm throwing that. Dude, I think he's bigger than the one I just caught. I think he is, too. There's a whole school in here, dude. There was a couple of them running with you. Dust, you might have to net your own fish. The net's behind, by the console. All right. Dusty wearing a redfish out already this morning, boys. Redfish wearing Dusty out this morning. <laughs> Come on around, baby. Let's go back here. Let's have a conversation. Conversation's gonna be what's for dinner. Redfish. This one might be big enough to go back. Uh, uh, we'll check it. This. The net, the net's right behind. Yeah, you. I got it. I'm gonna let wear him out a little bit. I got him. He's a little bigger, dude. That might be 30 inches. There he goes. Oh, that's healthy. Sorry, sorry. I got him. A go. Sorry, I'm trying to the test. Get popped in the top of the head. Oh, oh, I'm on. There you go. On. They're on the bank, Ed. They're not. They're not yeah. out there. And we won Look at this. Me and Dusty <sighs> traded places. I, he's catching red. <laughs> I'm foul hooking daggum. All right, guys. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Ooh. He's fighting a little weird. 28. He going on ice. Same size as the other one, huh? 
All right, guys, another gorgeous Louisiana redfish right there. Stunning, 28, two 28 inch reds back to back. You foul hooked a cat. <laughs> we need a bigger cooler already. Were you steady retrieving? Yeah. Then again, dude, I really didn't even have literally time. Literally had landed right next to my my cork. He was probably looking at yours. He was probably probably was headed to mine and he <laughs> fell in his face. Was he hooked in the mouth or you hook him in the forehead? Corner of the mouth, baby. <laughs> Corner of the mouth. Well, we're not gonna we're gonna go home with redfish and not have a slot. <laughs> That'd be some shit. We might have wore the spot out. Yeah, we're gonna cast a few more times and then uh we'll move to the next bayou and fish the same pattern in the next bayou. Ooh, yeah. uh -huh. Hooks that's a free. See hooks that's flying over the freaking gunner. <laughs> Not fish, but hooks that's for sure. I'm gonna knock myself out. Every trip we go on, you hit yourself with your lure, so just go ahead and get it out the way. Kevin the catfish guy. It is quite possible, I think. Yeah, right. Okay, the most frustrating catfish of my fing life, though, Kevin? The first one on your boat. No. Oh. The first fish he ever caught on his boat was a fing hard hit. Oh, no, no. More, comp more, more frustrating than that catfish. We're on a thousand dollar charter in South Florida, <laughs> surrounded by tarpon and snook that are jumping in the boat. He caught a 60 pounder and he caught like four sailcats. Yeah. I was literally hitting tarpon in the face and the sailcats were like, here, let me get that off your eye for you. Well, no, you caught a snook. I caught a snook from the kayak, that little snook. Well, I mean, besides this one spot where we were hooking reds, the rest of this bayou's been dead. You want to pull up and blow out? In spot number four we've been moving around quite a bit oh something's blowing bait up right there we've been moving around quite a bit since we hooked those uh since i got into those two big red fish we really haven't had any other action uh we are in a spot from the mardi gras madness video you can see it on kevin's channel i'll uh, put a link to that video right here so you can check that one out as well but we came here uh pretty much every time we fish this area we do pretty good so we're on limited time today. So anyways, like I said, we're crashing a wedding this evening. So we got out early to get the fish. Uh, we would have been out, been out a lot earlier, but uh, there was some traffic. By traffic, you mean you forgot the boat. <laughs> I got it. Anyways, so we're going to bust through here. We've had success here before uh, this time of year. So we're going to shoot for that again and uh, see if we can put a few, put a little bit more meat in the cooler. Let's get it. Ooh, here we go. Oh, He's small. Like trout. trout. And another trout. Hi hey guys. My first trout of the day here. He might actually be a, yeah, he's keep. Oh, that's a good trout. That's decent. 15. 15 inch trout right there, guys. Hmm. No, I always like to know though. It's just like in real life, I measure daily. Look, I'm just thankful we have a measuring stick. I'm just thankful we have boat keys. <laughs> People ask me why I strap my camera to my head. These are the problems we have. I have to. Just strap my boat keys to my head. <laughs> I'm going to tie them onto my waist the night before. <laughs> I just had a hit. I didn't take it though. Yeah, the big fish have all left. Or they're in the cooler. There we go. I let it sit, sink all the way to the bottom. Is that a red or a decent trout? Yeah, that's a trout. trout. Are you digging or just let it sink and then slow roll it? I was slow bumping it off the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. There he is. That was oh, oh mine, mine popped off. <laughs> all right, let's try. Let's do that again. Kevin caught his right here. Did on he? Nice one. Now I finally got Kevin's on the board. got to keep her in the boat. There he goes. What was it, 12? 12 inches, yep. Tail, closed mouth. Going state to state all the time. It's so hard to keep it all. Jesus. He's 12 on the dot. Yep. All right, guys, a little 12 inch trout right there. 
Later, dude. And next point is where we murdered them on the Mardi Gras Madness. Yeah, I want to go fish that point. Oh, we, that was, we going to. Even if we don't hook well, anything, we're that boat. Like, I want to give that point a solid effort because it oh, deserves yeah, a power it, pole over there. It deserves the respect. Well, you all want to pick up and start moving a little bit? Might or? as well. This is not, I mean, it's not like we're slaying trout here. He's fishing on the right side and there's a marsh drain right there and he'll cast all the way across both of us. Well, we've been and catching. Like, I don't know why my hook gets just caught up in your shit. Oh. I red. Mean, That's a red. Yeah. Right in his oh. mouth, dude. I mean, as soon as I uh, threw it, he took it. There you off. go. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good. trout. Is that a trout? Dude, so. if that's a trout, that's a stud. Dude. Oh, no, it's a red. It's a red. I hope this is a keeper. It might be. As soon as we pick I can't see how good a hook he got. Dusty. Huh? As soon as we pick the anchor up. I don't know if that's going to keep me. Uh, I, think he, I think you're going to keep, yeah. That's a keeper. That's 17. There you go. Ed with a nice one. That's a good eater. That's the perfect one. Uh, still fit in the frying pan. It's been a while since we had a redfish day. It's been a while since we had an anything day. And to think, I could have cast into the mouth of that instead of casting across y'all, and I could have caught that, that redfish. Yeah, had you just Arm done, as a bitch. <laughs> done right, you know? All right, guys, I forgot to mention it earlier, but I hooked both of those 28-inch reds on my slammer jig from Overcast Lure Co. You can go to the website, overcastlureco.com, and use promo code DUSTY10 for 10% off if you want to give these things a try. I'm telling you, these are the best jigs I've ever used in my life. I can fish the same plastic all day long and probably won't have to change it. They stay on phenomenal. It's it's great. The hooks are razor sharp. The hook, hookups are clean. Check them out. And yeah. Power pull down. All right, guys. This point right here in front of us where that white post is, this is the point from the Mardi Gras Madness video. I already dropped a link to that in the video. We absolutely slayed the fish in similar conditions, different temperatures, similar conditions and time of year. And we are about to give it a good run here and see if we can pull some, uh, pull some more redfish and stuff off this point. And we are, ooh. Nope. I must've thrown so, it in his mouth. I might get a lure out there. Nope. Ooh. Yep, stop here. <laughs> I just got smoked in the middle. Oh, he picked, God, he didn't. It might be a little trout because gra he grabbed it and went straight sideways with it. Where you at, Kev? I see you. I see you. You're good. I'm trying to get right on the edge of that point, but I, keep, I haven't found the edge. Yeah. There he is. There you go. Oh, he slammed it too. You're more out in the middle. Yep. And what the hell happened to my drag? A steady retrieve? Yep. It's a decent trout. It's a nice 14. Or, or... Yeah, how do we go from blowing 30 to nothing? Because Louisiana. Wow. We're all gonna spread here, guys. We're all gonna hook the same freaking fish. Great spread here, guys. Covering every part of the water. Hi guys, this is Kevin fishing off the back of his own boat. I've had cast. <laughs> You've had cast? <laughs> I've had cast. I've had casts up here too. Here look. Hey look, I have a... Look, I have another cast. Hey, hey look, Dusty, I can oh, I can cast oh, too. Ed's got a cast too. Yeah, but y'all ain't biting. Dude, Ed, that was a big cast. Look, I'm going I'm to make this bite. Look, this, look, watch this bite. Look at that bite. There's that bite, and I'm going to get a cast, all right? Right there off that point. Hey, Ed, reel in and cast over him, would you? There's some action up in front of us, too. Let me get a... I'm going to come by. All around. around. Still absolutely shocked we haven't seen a bass. I'm stunned. I really am. Look at... As soon as I pulled the freaking... <laughs> you shit. I told Eddie Banks to cast in between two banks. Between a bank and a mud hole. Oh wow, that was impressive. <laughs> Color me shocked. It's gonna be impressive when I land that 20 inch red. Or trout. I told you to cast down there. Just yeah, 20 inch red will be cute right next to my 28s in there. He's gonna join the 40 club now because we're talking shit. 44 inch drum. 30, 30 minute fight. We're, me and Kevin are just gonna stand around filming. So. Oh, bro. Son of a bitch, I thought he was on my lure because my lure was right there. He was. Here, I got you, Ed. He came after it. <laughs> I got you. Cool. I'll, I'll get him, Ed. I hope I got that on video. That was cool. <laughs> it would have been cooler if you right caught it. there. We are touching shoulders fishing on a 22 foot boat. <laughs> Still in grass. It's shallow right there. I thought I got out far enough. Dude, something chased, chased it. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, something turned right there. And that grass is still right there even. That's I just had the same conversation about the exact same spot. No, you was in more. <laughs> there he is. A little trout. Oh, quick release, quick release. Baby anyway. It, it counts. Just didn't have to get slimy. That was moving faster. 
He was. If I gave him a full hook set, he went flying over the boat. His jaw would have been over there, and he would have there been swimming over here. Clean version I can use. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of cutting out the freaking cuss words. I spent five hours editing three and a half of that cussing out, cutting out cuss words. Oh, I'll have to cut the first part of that out. <laughs> there we go. That's that's a keeper. Uh, uh oh. Get it. <laughs> You are the most unlucky fish Dude, I have ever met. He was three inches from being free. <laughs> he landed on the freaking rail. All right, guys. 14 inch trout right there. The most unlucky 14 inch trout in the state of Louisiana currently. There he is. Oh, that's, oh, that's a good that's one. That's a red. That's a little red. I don't know if he's gonna keep, but that's definitely red. Being more aggressive, huh? Yep. That's a red, but I think he's not gonna. Oh my god! Yeah, he'll keep. He choked that some. <laughs> all right. Be, he's, gonna be close. he's gonna be close. But we've all got, we've all put reds in the boat. Yeah, we just don't have bass. All we need is bass for slams. All three of us are one fish short of a slam. That's nuts. All right, game warden. You try to, you try to say it's illegal. Look at that. <laughs> on there. 16 and a quarter. He's going in the cooler. I'm talking about, holy crap. We are 100% getting stopped today. Measured it properly. He is legal. Shut up. <laughs> That's going in the video. That's definitely going in both videos. We have to put it at the exact same time. Yep, yep. Fish flops in the background simultaneously. Shut up. That's definitely going to make a YouTube short. 100%. And then we can do the synchronized cast right after. Yes. You're like when you fish, when you've been fishing together too much. Oh, there he is. Oh, that was a nice hit. I dropped it. Oh, he broke you. No, he, oh, he did. Did he break you or the knot, knot come undone? Knot came undone, it looks like. How many slammer jigs you got left? Dude, that's crazy. I never go through jigs. Like this is. The guy who goes Watch through feet. Goes through more tackle than Bass Pro, never loses jigs. And there goes Mike. I, I really don't go through a lot of jigs though. Ed's gonna hook a 44 inch or a 24 inch trout. No cameras rolling. If he hooks a 44 inch trout. Uh, a 44 inch red or a 24 I'll say we, we need to get that thing back to the launch yeah, quick. We're, we're doing more than we're world about record. a fucking GoPro. That's a world record. In fact, we're throwing your fish back out there on a hook really well so well, we can pull it in. You. <laughs> <laughs> what happened out there guys well our friend fell overboard and we lost him you'd have to tie that bitch to his tail like a tuna <laughs> <laughs> four redfish in the boat and hey the phone zone's in the back yeah, yeah you have dinner i thought i popped that jig dude, off oh oh yeah right, buddy we're about to move up Ed, you need to get out the way so i can get to the troll he popped off he popped off he came off yeah he's doing his freaking mouth yeah there's a freak ton of dude oh, i just got hit all right we're not moving yet all right i think the bite's about to turn on dude come on nah, a little off right, yeah we need to move up. up we need to move up 10 maybe 15 foot we're about to catch the fish guys we gotta get ready to cast there's an entire probably school of trout right here tearing bait up right here in front of us y'all coming out the water they right are bait. this is uh we if we're not if we're not tripled up, I'd be shocked here in a minute. At least I think they're chasing him down that bank because they're moving a little oh, further. I threw in his freaking mouth and I missed him. That might have been grass actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are we all fishing different directions? Holy shit! What? And I just got a hit. Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I'm gonna come from see Ed on the back with two rods. <laughs> oh, I got a hit right there after I let go. Oh, yep, he came back for it. Nah, he got small. Oh, he let go. God bless it. Oh, you zip drag on that hook. Yeah, we are. Man, we have missed more fish today. Steady retrieve or when it was? I let it sit on the, I let it fall and sit on the bottom. He hit it on the bottom. They want it aggressive, but they're hitting it on the fall. All the ones that I've had yeah. have come after a good jig, but while it's falling slow. Oh, that was a trout. That was a whole ass trout. Oh my God. <laughs> my, my real speed's faster. 
<laughs> I almost threw my rod in. <laughs> he almost threw his fucking we were, rod. We were racing. I almost let go of the rod trying to cast like that to get mine out there before Kevin. God. You may not want to be up here. <laughs> yeah, you're about to get it. You're about to get it. Oh. Yeah, he goes. Oh, yeah, I got him that time. Might have to switch up to the core because he's getting crazy action on it. I'm enjoying jig fishing today, though. I love jig fishing. I do too. I hate a cork. Look at the fish just going absolutely nuts. That's what I say. I think they're moving down the bayou. We're chasing them down the bayou, basically. Oh. oh. <laughs> We're catching them all back there, yeah. Ed, uh -huh, on that I saw it. <laughs> There's no activity up here, Ed. <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing to see here. He starts getting bites on that cork. I'm gonna switch up because I want to test out that boom boom shrimp. Oh yeah, you haven't played with that yet, have you? I, I cast it a couple of times. I had a couple of nibbles on it, but no actual takedowns. That's a good cast. All the winds that are back now. Yeah. You could have just left it. That's a good cast. It didn't hurt. <laughs> like, oh my God, I almost gave him a compliment. Let me find a reason why it happened. The thing is, <laughs> you can cut out the second part. Yeah. Exactly. But this part of the conversation is way funnier. I feel like one of us just, there it is. <laughs> That's a nice one. I almost called that. I was literally in the process of calling that. I heard it. I'm going to come over you. Right in. Ed, Ed you were almost down here. There you oh. go. Oh. That's a nice trout. All right. Right? Oh, buddy. Hey, guys. Another trout there. I'm not even going to measure him. I'm just going to get him on ice and get the lure back out. Yes. Thanks, sir. Yep. That lure was out there a little way. Ooh. Right underneath us, huh? Yep. Oh, oh, there's trout blowing up right there. I saw it. Let me switch to the cork. There you go. That's what Ed does. He casts his cork at fish, knocks them out, and goes by and <laughs> scoops them in the net. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, I was about to go to the back of the boat. Where were you at? <laughs> oh, way over there. Okay. Right there? I don't know if he's still on or not. <laughs> you can't tell with that fucking monster cork you got. Nope, he's off. Ooh, did dude, you see him? him. Did you see him? him? I hope that's on camera. <laughs> I do too. Dude, he came up and drilled it right there. I saw that. Both of y'all pick your rods up. Whoop. Nice. I'm just gonna skip under y'all. Putting that in the video. Pick up. There we go. You're on top of the grass, but uh kill it. That was a decent trout that it followed was, it up it too. Was deeper for sure. Here comes Dusty. Who's the wind? <laughs> the wind? Ooh, that wasn't the wind. That is not the wind. Oh, that's a big bass. Hey! Nice bass today. Slam, baby. He got his slam. I actually wouldn't mind catching some bass just to get my slam. I'll tell you what, he fought harder than them trout. That was a, that was a strong bass. I thought you had a red for a second. Something should flop off. All right, guys. Nice little marsh bass right there. Completing my inshore slam. Big keeper. Later, dude. We got a little over an hour to skip underneath. Right that there. was gorgeous. Luckily, it didn't skip all the way over. <laughs> that was one of the best skips I've done in a while. Into open water, though. <laughs> like, skip a dock, you can't yeah. fucking skip it. That's how I am. <laughs> open water, I could skip that bitch 15 times. I think what, what we're all sort of thinking is that they're not schooled up. They're running up and down these bayous chasing bait. And we just, you know, we're in the right spot at the right time and catch a few and they move on. All right, guys. What we're fishing now is gonna look a little familiar to you. We uh, made a loop around and we're about to fish the same bayou again. We had pretty consistent action all the way through. So we're just gonna come around and do it again. We've been all over the place today and this has been the best bite besides those two redfish and those two were sitting on top of each other. So this is, uh, this is what we're doing. Kevin's getting the trolling motor down for us right now. You're lazy bums. <laughs> I didn't know how to do it. You know, I've never used You have this exact trolling motor on your boat. Uh, this is the best charter I've ever been on. The captain's doing everything. F or, uh, Louisiana Fish and Wildlife. I'll leave his number down below. <laughs> he's getting his license soon. He's well qualified. Yep, look. I have my pants pulled down for a second. He's not sideways. You ought to try these new uh, slammer jigs from Overcast Lure Company. If you go to their website, you can use code DUSTY10 to save 10% and try them out. There he is. Oh, Drop sitting right on the there, bottom, huh? dude. Sitting on the bottom. There's people. Ooh, there he goes. Another bad. There's people on the North Shore right now that can hear Ed popping that cork. <laughs> oh, grass, I think. I don't know. There's fish in Lake Pontchartrain getting excited. Hi, right, guys. That bass <laughs> came from Bayou Lacombe for the cork. <laughs> Wrong lure, buddy. The cork's still. Where's the cork? Yes, there you go. Go get it, fella. Oh, sorry. 
Good <laughs> God. All, all the fish in the area are gone. That was quieter than his cork. That's true. <laughs> Steady retriever on the bottom. Uh, I, it was just sitting on the bottom. I wasn't reeling for a second. I, here we are again. The guy that doesn't like to bass fish is the one catching from bass. Oh, Ed's hooked up. Ed's got him another dink, it looks like. Yeah. A card of dinks. You have to get deeper water then. All the big ones have come off bottom. Yeah, he's not wrong. There he is. Oh, he hit it and came towards me. Slow, slow rolling on the bottom. Well, there's, slow rolling on the bottom. There's your trout too. No, there he is. Slow, slow, slow. Very on slow bottom. on the bottom. That's another nice one. That's another 14 inches. Ski man, come on. Skiing, skiing trout. I'm just gonna move so you go over me or something. You back on the bottom? Yeah. Well, this is how we was catching earlier. It was on the bottom right here. Yep. I sure wish this was a week from now so I could stock up on fish. Cause I got I'm a, the guy I'm, my renter is leaving a deep freezer in the garage for me. So I'm going to be able to st actually like stock up on meat. Where you, uh, uh, just across the bay, just across Pensacola Bay to Milton Pace area. Another trout, 14 inch trout right there. What is this? Oh, Kevin's oh, hooked goodness. up. He got some oh, weight. He got some weight. Grab the net, dude. This is a micro trout. Okay, Where? Never mind. It's a red. It's a red. You still want the net, right? Oh, no. He's a, he's a rat. He felt a lot bigger. All right, I got him. I got him. <laughs> At the boat. There you go. Nice. I was picking up to get out of your way when he looked like he was running when this he way. Flashed. All right, guys. Clear the bow. Clear the bow. When clear he the flashed, bow. I thought this was a big Coming through. Yeah, dude. I cleared. I was clearing out to give you room to bring him. Not a keeper. 15 and a half. See you, bud. Nope. <sighs> This spot's blown out. <laughs> so is my I forgot you were behind me, dude. I am so sorry. <laughs> At least he's got a neck gator on. It'll filter out a little bit. I thought you were on the back of the boat. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. Jesus. This is what y'all get for doubling up without me. It's not our fault. That's a bass. That's a bass. They want to be on That's a bag. bass. That's my slam, boys. There you go. I got my slam. There we go. I like how we call these nice bass. There's people using lures that size to catch well, 15 pounders up north. If you catch a fish on one more cast, then you automatically multiply it times two. So if you say three more casts and you catch a fish in those three, you got to make six casts total. See, I feel like I can mess with Ed now because I feel like we bonded over your key. We damn sure got some good laughs in. <laughs> yeah, the ride here, the drive here was great. Oh my God. I got the dink of the day. Oh, there he went. I caught he, a five inch trout on a three inch lure. You let him fall off so you didn't have to claim him. You didn't the... touch your leader so you didn't catch it. I don't have a leader. <laughs> Where y'all at? We're, we're right there. We're both right, right there. there. Okay. Yeah, you went a little further. Mm, that was definitely a hit. If there's a fish between us and that point, one of us is getting it. Facts. He's got three different opportunities and three different, basically three different colors. You saw my line jump sideways? Yeah, it's probably grass. Ah, oh, stop, 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 stop. Yep, yep, I, I fucking missed All right, we're good. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest that. Did you that. see that? Ugh. No, we're going Oh, that. he's still on. Oh, there you go. He came at you, huh? Yeah, he came right at me. Giggy, 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 get me. Oh, my God. Did you see that? <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> missed when you saw it. I just got nailed and missed it because I was laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Yep, I saw it, Kevin. From a behind the scenes perspective. Oh god, that's going in my video. Uh, <laughs> dick. I have waited six months for the opportunity to do that. It was so perfect. What do I have on the last bit? I have my slam. Everybody Is it a bass? A nice. Last cast, last fish for Ed. He got his slam. So the whole boat got their marsh slam today. All right, guys, that's a wrap for us. We're getting out of here, heading back to the launch. Me and Kevin are going to crash that wedding and have ourselves a little party tonight. So uh, we're gonna go get cleaned up, dressed up, and uh, drunked up. So once again, thanks for watching. I'm Dusty with Dusty Fish Co. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. You can also find me on TikTok and Facebook at Dusty Fish Co. on both platforms. So once again, I really appreciate y'all watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.